Hey everybody, what's up? So today I'm going to show you some of the cool books I got for Christmas. Now, if, now, I hope you guys are having a good Christmas, and if you guys don't celebrate Christmas or celebrate someone else, I hope you have a good day ever anyway, and I hope whatever you guys celebrate is pretty good, and yeah. So, right, so I have a lot of cool stuff I got, but right now I just want to show you the books. I will show you more stuff on a different video, but right now I just want to show you the books. Hollow. Uh, the Pocket Poet series, uh, and other poems, uh, Allen Ginsberg, uh, really cool poem. I actually did a review of this on my old channel, on my Grown Sickness channel, if you remember that. Great, great kind of beat generation poem. Speaking of beat generation, I'm actually going to do a review of this one, um, wait, uh, sometime, but... Beatnik Fascism. I saw this on the internet. I was curious about it. And right away I know I had to get it. Basically this is by Brian A Abishin. Brian Abishin. Sorry if I butchered that name. But basically. Beatnik Fascism. Is. Is a book he wrote. After seeing the Twilight Zone episode. Basically, uh, they were aliens. I love that episode, by the way. They were aliens, beatnecks, basically, made to take over the world. But this guy fought in love with a girl. And basically, he was trying to... It's, it's a weird episode, but it's a good episode. But what he took away from it, it's interesting. Beatnecks, you know, like, beatnecks who want to kill off the human race, like, yeah, beatneck fascism. That's kind of a weird concept. Well, he was doing some research, and this book is kind of a serving, but it's an interesting read. It's basically, do you know, like, it, in the circles of, like, weird kind of anti-progressive kind of alt-right people, you know, I'm not going to name names, but they would say things like, Conservatism is the new counterculture or something. This book takes a look of like, what does that really mean? <laughs> basically, uh, it's a bunch of poems and it's basically saying like, if you really think about it, even the beatnecks who were very progressive and radical people for their time, they use a lot of N-words in their books and a lot of gay stereotypes, even though a lot of those men were gay. A lot of those beat generation people were gay. And it's a really interesting read just to think about because I think right now we're living in kind of an alt culture, if you really think about it. Not just alt-right, but alt-left. Alt-right, alt-left, alt-libertarian. I... If that's not a thing yet, I will be super surprised, alt libertarian. What's going on here in this book is kind of documenting the conserv like the deserving aspects of alt culture and Wow. I read some of it actually and it's really interesting. Uh, the next book I have um is called Punk The Best of Punk Magazine. And I want to show you some of the pictures because it's actually pretty cool. I'll try to keep away from more of the obscene pictures, I guess. But, um, you know, for YouTube's sake. But here's, uh, I think, yeah, Iggy Pop. Um, this is a really cool book. If you want to know, like, you know, the punk. If you, it's... John Hornstone, man. John Ho Hornstone. Oh, that's my grandma. Um, it's, it's a really interesting read. I like early punk, and you know me. It's really interesting. This one is called The Comic Such Book. And it's basically, you can make your own comic book here. Um, very interesting. So I really liked it. I know I'm saying interesting a lot, but yeah. I like it. I, I definitely use it. 
Now, this next book, oh, this next book, the ho is called The Hard Times. And basically, the hard time, uh, let me see. Basically, the hard times, a history of punk and hardcore. So it goes, I haven't actually read this book yet, but it looks pretty cool. It kind of goes over like the history of punk and hardcore and stuff. The last book of the day is, um, I'm going to keep it to punk rock, CBGBs. Um, really interesting. I can't stop saying that. Very interesting. <laughs> well. It's really good. I'm just going to put it that way. I actually did read some of this. It is a coffee table book, but it's it's a great coffee table book. You know what I mean? If you want something what will give you a little history of what punk was like back in New York in the 70s and early 80s, look it up. You know, get it, man. It's really good. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Uh... And I'll be seeing you in some other time. And I will be doing that video where I'll be making a big tribute to early 1960s shows. So, I'll see you then, people.